In a significant development, U.S. engine manufacturer General Electric has offered to co-develop and co-produce its F414-400 enhanced engine in India for the AMCA program, that can develop a thrust of 116 kN. The revival of the General Electric offer to co-develop the engine coincides with the development of a 120 kN F414 enhanced performance engine variant for the U.S. Navy. General Electric has now received requisite permissions from the American weapons export control regime, that was earlier reluctant to share core engine technology with India. General Electric's offer of the 116 kN engine means that it can be used in both the AMCA Mark I and Mark II, since it has the same length as the baseline F414 variant. Industry experts read this U.S. turnaround as an attempt to retain its lead to power India's indigenous fighter jet program, as the U.S. does not wish to cede this position to European engine manufacturers Safran and Rolls-Royce. This revived American offer comes at a time when India and France are in final stage of negotiations for the joint development of a new engine with joint intellectual property rights, under which India will have the right to carry out improvements and upgradation of the critical components, as well as full control over export rights, and it is still not clear if General Electric has made a similar offer to India. The DRDO has confirmed that it has completed the carriage and separation trials of the 340 km range Astra Mark III air-to-air -air missile, for which two Astra Mark III missiles FT-1 and FT-2 were used for separation trials from a Su-30 fighter jet earlier this year. The DRDO is now preparing to assemble a fully integrated missile that will be powered by a solid fuel ducted ramjet propulsion that has been jointly developed with Russia, that will be used to start developmental trials by mid of 2023. The Astra Mark III will weigh 218 kilograms, and will have the same length and dimension as the Meteor missile. The Astra Mark III will have a top speed of Mach 3.6 and an interception range of 190 km at 8 km altitude, and 340 km interception range at 20 km altitude, along with a no-escape zone of over 100 km. The Indian Air Force Chief has said, that the 114 MRFA program will be executed under the provisions of the Defence Acquisition Procedure 2020, and the winning foreign vendor will have to comply with the requirements of transfer of technology and make in India, that would add to indigenous fighter aircraft manufacturing capability. He also said, that the procurement of the 114 MRFA will augment the fighter's strength and enable it to induct the advanced technologies that the force urgently desires to execute its operational plans more effectively. The Defence Ministers of India and Malaysia held a high-level virtual meeting yesterday, during which the Indian offer for 18 Tejas fighter jets was discussed at length, as well as maintenance of the Russian origin Su-30 fleet of the Malaysian Air Force. India has offered the Tejas Mark I variant, that can be integrated with a variety of Western Russian and Indian air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons. The Indian Defence Minister also highlighted the areas in which Indian defence industries could assist Malaysia, and he suggested a visit of senior Malaysian officers to India to get a first-hand experience of the facilities and products of the Indian defence industry. Other contenders for the Malaysian deal like South Korea and China are unable to offer this dual package, as they do not have back-end contracts with Russian manufacturers to work on the Su-30 fighter jet. The Ministry of Defence has released a request for information for the procurement of 50,000 units of lightweight ergonomic and easy-to-handle handheld radio sets that is intended to meet the communication requirements of the tactical section and platoon level communication in all types of terrain including high altitude areas. The DRDO has announced, that a review meeting of steering committee of aeronautics research and development board was held yesterday, during which the committee reviewed proposed national programs on aircraft health management, electric propulsion and advanced stealth, 
and the committee said that these programs will enable advanced basic and translational research development work in academia and industry. The Chief Director of Indian Coast Guard has commissioned a squadron of Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopters Mark III at Porbandar, Gujarat. The helicopters are fitted with a 12.7mm heavy machine gun that has a range of 1.8km, state-of-the-art radar with long-range imaging and identification using the electro-optical pod and automatic identification system, that will significantly boost the maritime surveillance capabilities along the border with Pakistan. Thank <laughs> you.